In this video, I'm excited to introduce you to the workspace computer in Sim Theory. I'm gonna do my best to take you on a complete tour of the feature and show you the best ways to use it and some of the helpful use cases I found from using it so far. Before we get started, I just wanna remind you that this feature is highly experimental and there are many known shortcomings. So we think you can do productive work with it, but you just need to learn how to use it like any other tool in your toolkit. It's not magic and is not going to solve all, your, all of your problems. Hopefully it will in the future though. The best way right now to think of it is just like an intern who is new to a task, but it has Einstein level knowledge. And if you brief it right, it can get a lot done. So let's start by setting up our workspace computer. And this is what you'll have to go through uh, in order to get this feature running. So you click into workspace computer and you'll get this warning saying that it's an early alpha and it's highly experimental. It tells you the things that you can do with the feature and some terms that you need to agree with in order to set it up. So we're just gonna click I agree and then we're gonna go through this setup process. Now, it can take a couple of minutes to allocate your computer. Please be patient on this step. Okay, so success. Our computer's now ready and set up. So we just click use workspace computer and we're ready to go. You can access the computer now from the button in the new session area, or you can click the skill button, the plus icon to access it at any time you wanna invoke the computer use skill. So let's start off with something really basic. I'm literally going to say press the Windows button. So when you enter a command, the computer will start up and you'll see it connect and then it'll say thinking. And to see what it's doing, you can click on the focus icon here. You can see that it's actually so quick that it's already been able to click the start button just in the short period of time uh, I was blowing up the window into a focus mode. Now, if you hover here, you can change the size of the focus window here so you can make it much larger if you wanna see more of the computer or less of the computer if you're more interested in the content on the right-hand side. After each task is complete, it'll give you a summary here on the right-hand side. So let's try something else. This time I'm going to install a code editor to just show you how you can install some software here. So in the focus window, I'm gonna invoke the computer skill again here, and I'm gonna say, please install VS Code. Okay, so you can see that we've successfully installed VS Code on our workspace computer now. And I get a summary on the right-hand side of all the steps it's taken and what it's accomplished. Now, again, you don't have to sit and wait for your workspace computer to do this. In fact, you don't even have to watch. You can just tell it to do certain commands and it'll go off and do them in the background. Keep in mind that it can only do one task at a time since you only have one workspace computer right now. So let's look at another feature of the workspace computer. For more complex tasks where we wanna authenticate into things and set up the task for the model so it can achieve a lot more. For example, it might be logging into your Salesforce account or your Google Workspace account if you want it to work with spreadsheets or documents. You need to be able to control the computer. So you can do that below by clicking control and that will initialize control mode and basically log you into the virtual machine so you can completely control the computer. So you can adjust the size of the, the window here. And when you launch control mode, it'll adjust the resolution to that display. So if you wanna make it bigger, you can just blow it up. So let's close VS Code because we don't need any of that. And what I'm gonna do now is set up this task by logging into a Salesforce developer account, just so I can show you how it can work with a SaaS application. And I'm gonna load up Google Drive as well to give it some files to work with and see what it can do. Okay, so now I'm authenticated into Salesforce and also Google Workspaces. Let's look at two examples we can achieve when we're able to set up the workspace computer for a given task. Now, this is an extremely simple task, but you can give it much more complicated tasks. And I've got other videos showing you how to do that. So this prompt says, please open Salesforce and enter the lead Mike Sharkey, Mike at SimTheory.ai and company is SimTheory. Let's see how it does. <music> Okay, great, so my lead is now in Salesforce. And if you can imagine, if I wanted to do some sort of bulk operation in the background, I could do that and just set and forget, get it to go off and do this, and then just come back when it's done. I don't have to obviously sit here and watch each task. 
So now everything's working, let's get it to draft an email to Chris telling him that everything's working as expected. So I'll add another command to my computer here and I'll say open gmail.com. I am already authenticated and send an email to Chris at simtheory.ai saying it worked. Okay, so it was able to send the email. It doesn't look that pretty because the window was small, but it was able to still accomplish the task. So let's go over into the control mode and we'll just check our sent messages to make sure that everything was done correctly as we thought. So we'll go in here and select sent. And you can see here, we sent an email to Chris successfully saying it worked, which is pretty cool. So we were able to add a lead to Salesforce get the AI agent to send an email on our behalf as well, which is uh, not a bad start. So let's do one more final task and show you another way to use the workspace. So this time I'm going to do some research and I'll say best breeds of cat to own for a family. Okay, so now I've got my research about the best cats, cat breeds for families. I'm going to get it to create a doc convincing my wife that we should get a cat. Create a Google doc to convince my wife we should get a pet cat for our family. It should be in the form of a letter. now writing out the letter dear wife's name i hope this letter finds you well i've been thinking a lot about our family lately and how we could make it even more wonderful than it already is i believe i have the perfect suggestion adding a cat to our family the letter is complete and it's given me a summary below of the document so you can see now how easy it is to get the workspace computer to complete tasks now as a reminder you don't have to watch this every single time you can instead just give it tasks as part of the normal session and get it to go off and do these things for you. So a good example of that, say you wanna do a, a pretty complex calculation or some research. As part of the conversation, you might be discussing it. You could say something like, calculate 32 times 20 to the power of 10. Okay, so you can see how after the task is complete, it just comes back into the context window of the normal session and you can continue to work on it. So you can get it to go off and do pretty complex tasks. Obviously that's not the best example, but it's just something that I can do relatively quickly for the sake of a video. Now, one of the final things I wanna show you is what happens if you ask it to do a task and you change your mind and it's off doing something on the computer you don't want it to, so you need to stop it. So let's look at how to stop it. We'll say delete all files in the downloads folder. Okay, so it's loading up and let's just say I changed my mind. First of all, I'll focus in on it and you can see this is the workspace computer down here. And if we want to stop it, we just hit stop. You'll see it's stopping the current process and then the task is stopped. So you've got that stop button built in if you maybe change your mind or you just need to stop something in the case of accidentally getting it to delete all of your files. We'd love your feedback on this feature. You can join our Discord if you're not already a member or just click the get help button in the application itself and send us your feedback. We hope you enjoy experiencing the future of AI agents with a workspace computer. And it's a pretty exciting time to be able to experience this and get a, uh, a fully self-driving computer. I'll be doing more videos showcasing different use cases that you can do with the workspace computer. So make sure you subscribe and uh, please like and share this video as it helps spread the word about SimTheory. Thanks again.